Volvo Red Block in that guy's arm? Oh my god. What's up guys, it's Drifts and Lifts here. And welcome back to the Epic Volvo Drift YouTube channel that is Drifts and Lifts. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, please do. You all love Volvo gravy and I know it. So uh, turn on, on notifications for more Volvo Drift gravy. All right, so we got a cool episode for you guys today. Um, I've had a lot of uh, questions in the past about what does the lifts part in the name Drifts and Lifts mean? Um, some of you guys already know this, you've seen on my Instagram and stuff like that, but I figured I've never actually made a video of me lifting weights and doing that. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do tonight. It's uh, pretty late, it's about 11 o'clock. There's not gonna be too many people at the gym, uh, Murph's gym, represent. So I figured I'd make a little video so I'm not pissing anybody off. And uh, I'm just gonna go over kinda what I do in the gym. I'll show you guys some lifts that I do. Uh, I'll talk a bit about kind of um, my, my lifting uh, history and that kind of thing. Um, so actually I'll start just in the truck right now before I actually get to the gym. Just a little bit about my lifting career and that kind of thing. Can't really call it a career. Um, but uh, you know, I've been lifting for a good while now and I've had a lot of ups and downs through it and a lot of experience with it. Pretty passionate about it. Um, when I started Drifts and Lifts back in the day, uh, it, the Instagram, that's kind of what I did. I really like drifting and lifting. So uh, those are kind of my two biggest hobbies in life. Um, this guy's like, oh my God, he's vlogging inside his, uh, vlogging inside his truck. Okay, so uh, I'm 24 years old now. Um, so I actually started lifting weights when I was about 13, 14 years old. I would say about 15, 16, I started lifting weights seriously. Uh, power lifting, squat, deadlift, bench, all the, the proper lifts. I actually learned proper technique and all those kind of things. Um, so I've been lifting for over over 10 years now, you could say, that kind of thing. Um, so I, you know, I know a thing or two about it. Um, yeah, so it's, it's kind of been with me the whole time. Um, I've never, I've done some pretty decent lifts. Like I'm no crazy expert or anything. Uh, I like I, you know, I'm not setting world records or anything like that. Um, but over the years, I've, I know, I've, I've, I've done some decent lifts that uh, are, you know, fairly respectable. Even in the YouTube community, there's so many damn strong people out there nowadays. So I don't even try to compete. I kind of just stay uh, lifting for health purposes and to look good and stay active and fit. That's mainly the reason now I used to be all about lifting as heavy as possible, setting uh, personal records and that kind of thing. Um, but there was a time when I was about 19 to 22 years old, so a couple of years ago now, where I was uh, I was or I was training for a powerlifting comp. I never actually got around to doing the competition due to a lower back injury. Uh, but my best lifts ever were a 600 pound deadlift. I did a 465 pound squat. I was never that great at squatting. Uh, my knees gave me a lot of problems. Um, the best bench I ever did was 365 pounds uh, with a pause in the bottom. So fairly respectable, nothing too crazy. Um, this was all done at about 225 pounds. Right now I weigh uh, about 220, so kind of the same sort of deal. Um, I'm trying to do as best I can right now. Uh, I've been eating a lot healthier and that kind of thing. So. Now you guys are probably wondering, and this is actually funny in the YouTube community, uh, the reason I didn't start a lifting channel, man, is there, it's pretty cutthroat on the lifting side of things in the YouTube fitness community. People are calling out people for steroids and chirping people and all these, you know, there's, there's just a lot of gossip. I didn't want to get into that. I like making Volvo Drift videos for you guys. That's way more fun. Um, but if you guys are wondering, I have never done steroids. Uh, I know it doesn't look like I do steroids, um, in high school, there's a lot of my friends that did steroids and I was always stronger than them because I was actually more committed to my diet and my exercise than they were. So, uh, yeah, no, to answer that question, I have never touched steroids and I can say that honestly. Um, you know, the people who will accuse you of steroids because you're stronger than them, they're just little bitches, so they can go fuck off. Um, those people don't know anything about weightlifting. People got to remember, all people's genetics are different. Uh, no two people are built the same, right? So one guy could could have to do a shit ton of steroids to do a 500 pound deadlift, whereas some guy can go in first day lifting, hit a 400 pound deadlift, and within a month he's already at 500, you know? Um, 
there's strong people, there's weak people, there's builds of all different sizes. So that's all I want to say about that. So um, yeah, uh, you know, these days just kind of lifting for fun. So we're gonna head to the gym right now, just in the Cummins, and I'll show you guys kind of some of my lifts that I do uh, on a regular basis. I do a full body workout for the most part, about four or five days a week. So, uh, you know, I, I mainly stick to the compound movements and I don't really do to a whole lot of like bicep curls and like that kind of thing. I stick to the compound stuff, deadlift, squat, uh, bench press, overhead press. You know, I'll do some accessory stuff. I do a lot of chin ups and that kind of thing. I'll show you guys at the gym. I will say right now, I've been training the last five days in a row and nearly every muscle in my body right now is really sore. So I'm not gonna be impressing the shit out of you guys. I will try to lift some heavy weights for you guys just to kind of show you what I can do. Um, but I'm definitely not fresh. I'm not prepped to do some super heavy lifting tonight, just to let you know. All right, let's head there. All right guys, so we are in Murph's gym. This is uh, the gym I've been training at for the last five years now. Amazing place, as you guys can see. It's got everything you could possibly need to get strong and jacked, basically. Um, we got Olympic lifting bumper plates. We got uh, some cool strongman stuff over there. Um, I like to do the strongman workouts. I might show you guys a little bit of that today. Um, so let's get started. So. Here I am, drifts and lifts. Yeah, we're showing the lifting. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna start out, we're gonna do just basically a fairly common workout that I do. Uh, I'm gonna start out with some deadlifts on the platform here. And then I might go to, maybe show you guys a little bit of bench press. Like my, my, my titties are fucking, they're feeling pretty sore these days. So uh, it's not gonna be anything spectacular. But you know, I can move a little bit of weight. So uh, we'll, we'll show that. Um, I might do, see how many chin-ups, like, like strict chin-ups I can do in a row. I've never actually tested that in recent time, how many like chin-ups I can do at 220 pounds body weight. Um, so we'll figure that out. And I might show you guys some, uh, I got some overhead press. We have the log press over there, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's a classic strongman uh, competition, world's strongest man. That's always one of, the, one of the biggest things that they do is the log press. So it's just a big log and this one, just, just this log alone weighs 135 pounds. Um, I, I have really weak shoulders. Like I honestly have no shoulder strength so there's nothing impressive going on there. Um, but yeah, so we also got this cool, these farmer's carry bars. I really like these. You guys might have seen this on my Instagram. So you basically pick weight up and you, you walk with it like a farmer carrying some, some fucking, you know, buckets of water or something, farmer strength. So let's, uh, let's get started. I'll uh, go into the deadlift, I'll load up a bit of weight, I'll do a bit of a warm up. So for a deadlift warm up, I always kind of just start out with a plate and then I slowly work up. I do about four like really quick warm up sets. Um, I don't go like strenuous, like anything close to failure, nothing like that. You just kind of want to get your body warm in the zone for it. Today I'll probably be throwing on a, a weightlifting belt. Sometimes in the past I haven't worn weightlifting belts and that's okay when you're going a little lighter weight um, but now the problem is I've had an SI joint injury about a year ago and it still till this day gives me a little bit of pain here and there and I found that wearing a belt just keeps everything nice and tight and allows me to pretty much be pain free with the lifting so I like to wear a belt uh, once I get up to heavier weight it's just kind of a safety thing for me these days I used to deadlift like 500 plus with no belt for like reps. I could do, the best I ever did was 500 for eight reps uh, with no belt. So that was like pretty savage. That was like when I was max peaked out, fucking like doing, you know, just like dedicated only to the lifts. I wasn't really doing too many drifts at that time. Um, anyways, I'll, I'll stop boring you guys. Let's see some lifts here. In other way, the word I got my feelings murdered by the bullet of bad. A singer of sad song to make you long for your mom and your dad. Play a clash with polka dots. I hope you ain't mad. Back up, little mama. I'm about to react. All right, guys. So um, I'm gonna be wearing straps. I know that's kind of bitch made. I never usually wear straps, but we got a pretty dirty. Oh yeah, that's a that's a deep one. 
Uh, so gripping this bar once I get up to heavy weight with this cut on my hand, uh, it's, it's actually an opening because of dry hands and it gets like really painful. I'm gonna be wearing straps, I don't need to, um, but for today that's, go, that's what we're gonna do once I get up to the heavier weights because I don't want to tear this even more. It's like pulsing right now and it hurts pretty bad. So uh, just a little, you know, just so you guys don't think I ain't no bitch. Let's do it. Now we're gonna go up a little more. I'll probably get up to about, I feel all right, despite being really sore right now everywhere. Um, we'll see if I can get up to like 400 plus pounds. I'm gonna throw that belt on, keep everything nice and tight. Um, yeah, we'll see how it feels once I get up there and I'll do it for as many reps as I can or something like that. We'll see how that goes. Let's go three plates. Fifteen. Third warm up set. So now I'm gonna do my working set for say. Um, so I'm gonna throw on the straps. This uh, this thing on my palms getting pretty painful right now. Um, so as you got, yeah, I'm wearing the belt. It's just feeling a lot. It just keeps everything in place so my my SI joint doesn't slip out of place like it once did. Uh, that was a really painful injury that set me back for about a year. I couldn't really lift heavy or do the lifting that I wanted to do. Uh, so finally, it's actually finally feeling pretty much back to normal. Um, so I used to, you know, I used to deadlift pretty damn heavy quite often. It wasn't a form thing. My form's always been pretty damn good. Uh, it actually, the injury happened when I was lifting really light, ironically. Uh, I accidentally didn't have full core tension. I lifted the weight up and something just slipped back there. So it happens, everything, you know, in life, uh, there's setbacks and things like that. So. Um, you just got to kind of get through your injuries and that's all the love of the sport, right? Um, you just try to come back stronger if you can. That's kind of the sport of powerlifting and weightlifting. Uh, the spirit of it, you just, you got to keep on going. Um, if you enjoy it, that is, which uh, I do and I probably will for the rest of my life. So let's do some heavy deadlifts.
here we go. I don't really know how many reps that was. I think it was like 11, 12 maybe. Um, so honestly, the best I ever did for 405 pounds in the deadlift was 16 reps. Um, that was a couple, couple years ago. <laughs> Woo! That's a good workout, man. If you guys wanna get strong, um, learn how to properly deadlift, there's lots of good videos on YouTube. I need to take this belt off, I can't breathe. Oh. Uh, yeah, if you guys wanna get, you know, strong, this is my favorite all-time lift as far as overall strength and power goes. Um, it makes you jacked everywhere, not just in your back and your legs. Uh, if you do enough deadlifts, you'll see your, like, your biceps get bigger. You'll see your fucking eyeballs get bigger. You'll see your earlobes get bigger. It's crazy shit. Um, so I'm gonna end it there for the deadlifts. I'm already really sore, like I said, so I don't wanna overdo it. Kinda leave some in the tank. So let's head to the bench press. <laughs> if you guys are wondering how I mallet my fender so hard, it's because I do deadlifts. That's pretty much it. If you guys wanna mallet your fenders, fit some wide ass wheels on there, do your deadlifts. And eat steak and chicken and all that shit. <laughs> all right, so for the bench press, same kind of thing that I do uh, for the deadlift. I kinda, I'll start with the bar, do a couple reps, and then I'll go to one plate, and uh, my bench press is pretty weak, so um, I know I'll probably get one or two guys in the comments, I can bench press 350 pounds for five reps. Well, that's awesome. I can't. <laughs> uh, so I'm probably today gonna go up to like 225, so about a body weight bench press, and I'll do as many reps as I can. Hopefully we'll get over 10 reps, that would be cool. Um, I don't really do a whole lot of like one rep max, two rep max kind of stuff anymore uh, as you know it's cool to lift really heavy and stuff but I found that it was taking a pretty good toll on my body and I did it for a good amount of years about four years like always heavy lifting trying to get you know absolutely as strong as possible and uh, I definitely paid the price for it uh, my knee I get it's it grinds when I go down now I used to squat pretty heavy um, and it wasn't really like a bad form thing. It was honestly just like so much weightlifting over and over again and the joint cartilage just eventually kind of wore down. So uh, I don't really squat much anymore because of that. When I do, I keep it really lightweight. Um, but you know, I'm in this for the long run. I want to stay healthy and, and fit and looking jacked <clears throat> in the long run. So I don't need to, you know, I'm 24 now. I don't need to be, I'm, I know I'm never going to set any world records, nothing like that. I don't need to be lifting insane weights and show everybody how strong I am. Um, <clears throat> so it's good to keep the reps up. You get a uh, bit, bit better hypertrophy work from that. It's all about looking jack these days, so that's all I gotta say. Um, <clears throat> let's do some bench press. That's a 185 pound warm up. <laughs> All right, so yeah. That already feels kind of heavy. I'm gonna go to two plates, so that's 225, and I'll do as many reps as I can. We'll kind of, we'll feel it out. All right, so you guys will see that I'm pausing my benches. Uh, so I've always been doing that for a long time. Uh, it's a 
in a powerlifting competition, you have to pause it on your chest and then they'll say go and then you'll, uh, you'll bench it. So I kind of just got in the habit of that. Um, you know, you can, you can touch and go, that's the other way to do it. I do it this way, it's a little more difficult. You won't be able to do as many reps this way. Um, but I find you build strength kind of holding it in the bottom and then you have to explode up. You don't get that momentum like bouncing off your chest. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how many reps I can do with this. Ho hopefully I can get 10. Kind of doubt it though, we'll see. So there you go guys, I got 10 reps. Uh, nothing crazy, but that's actually pretty good. So my, my training in, in recent time has been on a slow incline upwards. Uh, I've been eating really healthy. I've been cutting out, I used to eat a lot of popcorn and chips. Um, I don't really eat any sugar, no candy, nothing like that. My diet, I eat what I want, but I make sure it's wholesome foods like there's a, there's a good animal protein source. I eat, I eat a lot of steak. It gets expensive, so thanks for buying those uh, Volvo Drift Ale, Volvo Drift Beer shirts, guys. Uh, and thanks for watching the videos. It helps keep the steak diet up. <laughs> um, and of course, Volvo parts and things like that. So I'm gonna do a couple more sets, uh, but my GoPro is getting pretty low on battery, so I'm not gonna film this. And then after, we'll head over to I'll show you guys some log press. It's kind of cool. I like doing that. So uh, there you go. All right, guys. So just did a couple sets of bench. Feeling pretty fatigued. Uh, so now I'm going to show you guys. I said we'll do the log press after. Um, I'm going to see how many chin-ups I can do. So I'm going to try to keep them pretty strict. No like swinging weird chin-ups or half-ass chin-ups for say. Uh, I'll try to keep them pretty you know, on point. And uh, at 220, right now I'm 222 on the scale. Uh, body weight, let's see how many chin-ups I can do. See how it goes. So that's 16 chin-ups. It is what it is, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, chin-ups are an amazing upper body workout. They really build your biceps and back. Uh, it's a nice primal movement. You're simply just pulling yourself up. I always, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I always stick to compound movements that use more than one muscle group in the body. That's how you're gonna get the most uh, the most kind of bang for your buck, shall say. So, just like a Volvo, right? Bang for your buck, that's what we go for. Um, all right, so, let's do some uh, overhead press with the log. All right, so for this lift, uh, it's pretty heavy to start with. It's 135 pounds. I'm not gonna put any weight on it. I'm just gonna do as many reps as I can with 135. Um, I did a little bit of a warm up with like a bar and a little bit of extra weight on it. Uh, so, we're gonna do it that way. Let's uh, let's let's see what I got.
more, baby. All right, so uh, that was tough. Not my greatest lift, but I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. All right, guys, so I think that's a wrap up. Um, I'm feeling pretty, pretty worked right now. As I said, I'm like super sore already to begin with. I probably shouldn't have worked out today, but I wanted to make a video for you guys, so here I am. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys liked it. Uh, not really planning on doing too many lifting videos. I just wanted to show you guys that I am drifts and lifts after all, and I do still lift weights. Still one of my big passions in life. Uh, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer as many of you guys as possible. Um, yeah, just any questions about my lifting and that kind of stuff. I've been doing it for a long time now, like over 10 years. Uh, in that time I've gained what I think is a fair amount of knowledge about this kind of stuff. I've tested, I've tried and tried and failed with many, many things with my own body, combined with a lot of other people that have helped out in training, um, combined with, uh, you know, just YouTube videos and internet knowledge about the stuff. Um, I've definitely, I've been into this for a while. I've been, you know, I've been looking up things and trying to gain as much knowledge as I can about it as possible. So yeah, leave a comment if you have any questions. That's all I gotta say. So uh, thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Make sure to check out the Drifts and Lifts store. The link to the store is in the description of this video. Sorry. Uh, yeah, if you guys wanna support the channel and get one of your Volvo Drift beer shirts, uh, I love them, I have all of them myself. I love rocking them. If you're into Volvos and drifting, it's probably the best shirt you can get. So uh, we're kind of we're gonna be coming out with some toques and some hats really soon. I know I, I've been saying this for a couple weeks now. Um, I'm gonna be doing that very soon. So so stay tuned for that. Um, it is winter months now, so I like rocking a beanie. Uh, Drifts and lifts beanie would be really dope. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it, guys. Lots of Volvo drift stuff to come. Like and subscribe for big Volvo glutes. Peace out.